All right, guys, it's that time of the week where we're doing another weekly grind video. If you guys are new here every Wednesday, or at least I try every Wednesday to get you guys a video on all the events that are currently available, all the summons and everything that's going on in game and let you know when they're going to end. Because I know so a lot of us are just lazy and don't want to look at the news. So I figured let's go ahead and uh, put this out. Anyway, so let's go ahead, jump into it. First thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is the Sane Warrior Celebration global side, obviously. Uh, so this is for the global side, all the events on global that are going to be running. Um, I might repeat a couple of them just because uh, the same Warrior Celebration encompasses some events that are currently out. So this is for the same Warrior Celebration. This celebration ends on 1101, which is for, uh, like, you know, for November, obviously, Thanksgiving time, or at least beginning of the month. So first things first, same Warrior Login Bonus. You get a Login Bonus every day. It lasts until uh, November 1st. Make sure you're logging in to get those rewards. I think you get, like, a Dragonstone every day or something like that. Um, number two, special mission rewards. Make sure you go and use those mission rewards. You get to clear one Dokkan event a day, and you get a Dragonstone for doing that. So go ahead, and you could even pick one of the easy ones on, like, the easier levels, and you'll get the Dragonstone for it. I recommend doing that. Dragonstone styles are here. Um, every day you can purchase the three-pack for a dollar, uh, or you can just go ahead and purchase a couple of the discount packs. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm probably going to wait a couple more days. It ends on the 31st. Uh, but I'm probably going to pick up all the, the 91 stone packs and save it for the Gogeta, so that way I have extra discount packs for Gogeta when it comes out. Dokkan Festivals for Bardock and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku run until 11-1 as well. Uh, the Bio Broly event should be coming out on Friday, guys. That's 10-20. It should be coming out. So get so, you know, get prepped for that. There's going to be three new SSRs in a banner. I do not recommend pulling on that on, well... There might be uh, a new LR coming out. We don't know. We think that the uh, LRs, Masu and Rose, are going to come out in this banner uh, for the first time. We don't know yet, so we're going to have to stay tuned and find out about that. But there will be a new event that comes out with Bio Broly, and that has a farmable Android 18 that's coming out on Friday as well. So get uh, you know, stay tuned for that on um, that event with that Android 18. Um, you could feed her into any of the Android 18s, and she's an SSR. I don't know what her drop rate is. I don't have the actual event open, but, you know, that's going to be a thing. Uh, Pan Secret Adventure is available every day. I highly, highly, highly recommend you 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 go and try and um, farm out that event every day. It's 80 stem, or yeah, 80 stem every single day. Um, for the 80 stem, you get 200,000 uh, experience points, and 200,000 for uh, 17 days is 3,400,000 experience points. You could level up really well. Um, I'm at level like 404 right now, and I've been using her every day in order to get leveled up, so I highly recommend doing it. Uh, Boss Rush new, new stage is coming up next Wednesday, so we got another week before that comes. I can't wait for that. I'll be doing a full video. I believe it's going to take like a half hour, 40 minutes for you to run that event once. Don't remember off the top of my head. I remember I think I watched, I started watching one of Rhyme Styles' videos on it, uh, but this is the time that I was doing recordings and stuff, and when I started doing my recordings, so I didn't actually watch the whole thing. I had to do my own, my own stuff. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, uh, everything else we're going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, weekly events. Every weekend you have the potential, hidden potential orb, so make sure you do that every um, uh, uh, is it Friday and to, Fridays to Sunday. So Friday nights to Sunday nights, you can go ahead and get those uh, potential orbs. So make sure you do that. It's every single one of those events that's currently available. Super Strikes events have additional availability. Uh, every day from, well, every Friday to Sunday, it's going to be along with the extreme and the super types. So go ahead and take advantage of that if you're looking for them. I would also recommend getting the medals for the LRs that are coming. Um, I think the LRs that you need to worry about is the LR trunks and the Mighty Mask for the Kid Goten trunks. Those two LR medals. So go ahead and grind them. I've been doing, because you get another mission reward for grinding out a strike event character. So uh, you get like three of each of the bronze type medals every day to clear one of those events so i recommend doing that uh, i'm doing the mighty mask one because you're going to need i think 14 medals for mighty mask or something like that uh, so i'm just grinding those out maybe it's 10 uh, mass mighty mask uh, strike event medals. but anyway you go ahead and do that baba shop runs until 11 1 with 30 percent off with uh yeah 30 percent off baba shop so that's really awesome um 10 billion power wars again this is a crappy event there's nothing here i really hope that they revamp the metacora event because i really like metacora uh I, well, I just like Quora. <laughs> but this event really has nothing. It's just grind it out if you haven't already grinded out the uh, stones for it. Uh, there are a whole bunch of different meta cores here that you can run on one team. They all kind of suck. They all really out of meta, really out of meta. Like, this is original OG meta. Don't worry about it. Don't I mean, just grind out the stones. Don't worry about anything else. 
Uh, next one, Pan Secret Adventure, I already went over. Uh, the Dokkan Festival with the Mass Saiyan and the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, I already touched upon. It lasts until 11.01, so you guys still have some time for that. That's both the do both Dokkan events um, in terms of the, the levels you have to grind out for those medals. Uh, you have two more weeks left for that, and the uh, banner to summon on if you want to summon on it. Uh, I know I told you guys that um, I don't that I don't recommend summoning on if you have all those characters, in it, but I already did. I summoned like I did three and a half, oh, well, technically four and a half multi something, three multi summon, and then uh, a whole bunch of yellows. I still do one yellow a night with the login bonuses. Um, I yellowed more of these freaking SSRs that I already have. I yellowed freaking two Super Vegitos. I really hope uh, Super Vegito gets a revamp new card because I have a whole bunch of them in my box now. And same thing with that freaking physical bro. You know, the funny thing is, the only thing I don't have is that Super Saiyan 3 Angel, I mean, Super Saiyan 3 uh, Vegeta, the strength one, for damage reduction in terms of old school units. I only have one of him. I would really like a dupe of him, just so I can throw some freaking uh, potential orbs into him, but I, I can't even pull that one. I literally am only pulling all the other 70% or 100% lead. It's freaking annoying. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, guaranteed SSR summons from the uh, World Tournament run until the 26th, so you have one, about a week for that. It ends next Thursday. It's Wednesday, so you have a week and a day left before you could before that goes away. Um, I might do that just because uh, I don't have the Turles. I would like some more uh, dupes of that super uh, the intelligence Goku, Super Saiyan Goku. I don't want that these two cards. Then again, the, the technique Vegeta isn't that bad. I know he gets a lot of flack, but when he Doken awakens, he's not bad. That goes 90%. Uh, Barok, I really want for my mono agility. Uh, in terms of these uh, Dragon Ball Saga summons, I would tell you guys, I would recommend to you to wait until the new SSRs come if you've been saving. I've been saving, I think I have over 100 something um, tickets for that banner. I really just would recommend to wait events to come or the new cards to come to that banner before you start summoning on it. Uh, next is going to be the two other banners that are available for summoning. This is Strength Exclusive, runs until 1025. So you have another one more week exactly before that ends. The Intelligence banner. Um, ends today, so if you're going to look to summon, go ahead and summon one more time on this banner. It's this is the one with the Elder Kai times two, so you really don't lose out when you get those Elder Kai's. Plus, I have my favorite waifu Videla over here, so you're going to want to make sure you get her. <laughs> um, the, Des the the LR Gohan's on the Intelligence banner, and the physical well, the, the Strength LR Broly's on the Strength banner. Um, so let's move over to the JP side now with the JP events. Oh, by the way, I didn't say this earlier in the video. Shout out to DBZ.space, so make sure you go ahead and check them out. This is where I'll get all my news. Um, so this is the challenge for the, actually, you know what, let's, uh, jump to, there was a news campaign here that I want to go, and it doesn't look like it's up anymore, alright, whatever, it doesn't matter, so challenge time attack, so this is going to be a new event that comes out, I don't know enough about it yet, I actually just found out about it when I was getting ready to record this video, I want to do a separate video on this, but apparently there is a time attack that's coming out, uh, it should be coming out, actually as of yesterday, it should have been out, uh, and it'll run till forever, <laughs> because it says 9, 26, 30, 30, so I'm assuming this is the time attack that we get on the global side, JP has it now, but the time attack is specifically for getting these Nimbus medals, and these Nimbus medals are what, is what allows you to, uh, Dokkan Awakening cards, so if you see over here, this is for the Bojack, this is the, uh, LR Bojack that Dokkan Awakens your Nimbus medal to get him from SSR to Full Power Bojack, um, then the Rage Goku, the one that survives a, a final knockout, gets his Doken Awakening. I don't know what the heck that is yet, so I'm going to have to take a look. Um, it looks like the only thing that he gets is attack plus 90% up on his passive skill, and when HP is he survives a knockout attack when HP is 20% or below. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, he actually becomes a lot more viable now, which is awesome. I don't know 90%. I don't know what his 12 key is going to be at that point, but... You know, 90% is cool, but you can still, you're still going to want to run other cards on that mono strength team, but that's not for today's video. And then the crappy Vegeta that everyone hates is finally getting a Dokkan Awakening. It looks like he gets an attack buff for 9 turns, I don't know. Uh, again, I'll go over that in another video, so that's coming. That actually already came out, and that's going to be going on forever. So uh, again, let me know if you know anything in the comments below. I haven't done any research. As soon as I end this video, I'm going to be looking into the time attack. So I'm just going to take this actually and uh, put it in its own separate tab, so that way I can look at it later. Um, the Bojack event with Gohan is available right now. That runs until 1031. So you guys have a couple weeks left for that. This is going to be what you need in order to Dokkan Awaken your LR Bojack as well. If you did pull him, um, you need to get it. You need these medals, the Bojack medals, to get him from his base SSR form to full power Bojack. And then you need more medals to get him from full power Bojack to his team Bojack LR form. So um, you're going to need those. You're also going to need Gokua medals in order to Dokkan Awaken. Gokua, the uh, TUR, well, the SR to SSR, then SSR to 
well, SSR, or Ultra Rare character, you're going to need those of Goku and Medals to token away from him. Uh, that's cool. And as always, you're going to need the other Gohan Medals and Bojack Medals for the old school ones that I have already went over. If you guys aren't aware, go ahead, check out the news, the Zanya, the Strength Bojack, the Agility Bojack, the Agility Gohan, um, all of those old school characters Doken Waken from this event as well. Make sure you take advantage of that. Again, you guys have some time. It runs till 1031. So you have about two, oh, almost two weeks, just a, a day under two weeks to grind out all those medals if you need them on the JP side. Um, next event is going to be the Future Trunks Dragon Ball Super event that runs until 1024. So you only have, what, four more days? You have until next Tuesday for that. So go ahead, grind that out when you still can. Well, it's actually Tuesday, G, so you probably have to like one. But uh, you have a couple days left of that, so go ahead and grind it out. This Trunks is the one that fires the farmable Trunks card. Base one, for, for, well, can be fed into the Technique card, which I highly recommend doing to get him up to Super Mac 10. And then he can, it's a pain in the butt, but you can Doken Awaken him to feed him into the Intelligence Rage Trunks and the Physical Rage Trunks. Highly recommend doing that. Um, that event, again, ends on the 4th. Next event that also ends on the 24th is the Tree of Might. Again, I told you guys about this last week. Uh, Turles can be fed into the Intelligence Turles, which I highly recommend doing. It's very easy. Those uh, he, do, he Z Awakens with the medals from this event. It does not cost a lot of Zenny to Z Awaken him. Uh, and you can farm out all the medals that you get. You get a hell of a lot more medals than you actually need. Bob of them for Bob a point. You will actually benefit from that. Plus, as for the Tree of Might and the Icarus, which you can grind from there if you want to as well, you have a couple more days left for that. Not, not high priority, but it's there if you literally have nothing else to do. 1026 is in the um, tournament of power event or the tournament of the, the survival arc. Um, so this event is still running where you can get that ultimate Goku and urine <laughs> and the uh, cocoon Frieza. So go ahead. Oh, I guess that Gohan too, right? Yeah, he's, he's available on stage nine. So go ahead, grind those out. The Goku, the Goku actually can be, uh, will feed into when he's awake. Token awakens into the ultimate or uh, whatever the freaking Ultra Instinct Goku if you want to feed that in. Same thing with the Frieza. But uh, yeah, that runs for a couple more days, guys. You have until 26 with that. Uh, the next one is going to be the Bojack. I, I, I know I already covered the Bojack, uh, but his banner ends on the 31st. So this is just for summons on him, so good luck on that if you're trying to pull for him. For him. Uh, that runs until 1031. Uh, 1026 is a couple more days for the Mono Physical Banner. I'm pretty sure the LR Trunks is on that banner. The, uh, the LRs, the whatever attribute type the LRs are, they usually run on those banners. It's also a double Elder Kai banner. So you can go ahead and try your luck there if you want some Elder Kai's. And last but not least, 1026 uh, is going to be the Ultra Instinct Goku. So you can go ahead and grind that on the GP side. But that's all the events, guys. Uh, thank you for sticking through that. I know there's a whole bunch of news there and a whole bunch of events, banners, and whatnot. I will only be going on global side, honestly, and I'll probably just going to be grinding out um, more of those Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku medals and the Bardock medals. I don't can wake in the Bardock I want going to Doken Wake in the physical Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku because I do have the Super Saiyan 2 one. Um, so I'm just going to Doken Wake him as a bobble reward. I'm not going to get any more of them. So I'm just going to get Doken Wake him now and then I'll just get the medals ready for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku when he, if I ever get him. Um, he should be on that um, Super Gogeta banner that, that should be coming out around Christmas time. So we'll see what happens with that. And um, again, I just want to state it again in this video. I'm pretty sure that the Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta are going to be on that Christmas banner with the Super Gogeta and Janemba. Here's keeping my fingers crossed, but calling it now. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe, like the video if you like what you saw here. Uh, and, you know, I will guess I'll catch you guys down in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned uh, because I will be dropping most likely tomorrow this time attack video so I can go over what the heck it's actually. Anyway, guys, thank you. I'll catch you later.